Um, Joyce, my, my problem, why I call this is because, remember I told you that I'm 22 years old now, and I'm still at that place I am, I'm staying with, I'm still staying with them, but there's no source of income. I am still um, begging for money, even to get uh, the smallest thing that I need. I'm, that, there's no, like, this, they, they don't give me allowance. Or even uh, maybe in a week, give me the 1,000 naira and say, take this and buy. Mm. I still beg for money, Joyce. Okay, why don't, you, no- why don't you start an online business? But hold on a second. Can we establish that you have not been grateful? Can we get that out in the air? Uh, no, I refuse. I refuse to accept that I've not been grateful. Because I have been grateful. Remember you say you have revenge against them or you have hate for them and that they've taken from you. You still feel that way? I told you that I have revenge. Like for, for years now, seriously, but I've never, I've never done, done anything wrong. I get I it. Just get, is I there something wrong thing. with yeah? But but yeah, can you understand that you have no right to have hate for them or to feel that they have taken something from you? One, it's incorrect. Yeah, he said it. So I no no no. I said way. it, but I, no 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 no. Let's not do that. I'm not forcing this on you because it's your reality, and maybe your approach would be different if you are honest about your own reality. Can can do you think that you have? You, it was a wrong judgment to say that they've taken from you. They didn't give you, but they didn't take from you. No, 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 wait. How dare I say that they didn't give you? They gave you. Did they take you to, through secondary school? Of course, they did. Oh, of course. They don't owe you that, honey, but they did. Now you're in the university that you're looking down on. I just got a WhatsApp message from another Nigerian who's at the Open University, and she says it's expensive. So you are, and this is not her approach. Can you see that there's something wrong with how you are perceiving this help? You think it's not help enough. Okay, but look. Yeah. Okay. Yes, this is just this is another person's perspective. I'm, I'm telling you based on my, on my own perspective. I don't know about that person that is, that is in the uh, university, but I'm just telling yeah, you what. I get your perspective. I, I'm saying that you owe these people gratitude for the little that they do for you. You see that uh, small uh, that they do for you. you I've owe always been grateful to them. Oh. I have always been grateful to them. Just the day before yesterday, of course, I went to them, the husband and wife. I always count my blessings. Okay, good. If you're not, First of all, I'm always grateful to God. It is because of God. If it's not because of God, I mean, I would have probably been in the village now with three, three children. Then how did you say that they took yeah. from you? How do you then end up saying that you have, you have hate for them or you want to do something to them for what they've done to you? So it's, no, your, your, your it's, statement is very complicated. You're, not, you're contradicting yourself. You didn't call the show to what? say that you were grateful and you were just looking for income. You called the show to speak about the people who were helping you as not being help enough. As acu- you accused them of not doing anything. You said they took from you. And I asked you what they took from you and you didn't tell me what they took from you. And you say that you're not ungrateful. Are you sure we don't have a bigger problem here? Um, what if they left uh, you? Oh, wait, wait, wait. You see, you, if, I, if I play back what you said to me when you called me, let me give you another scenario. What if they didn't help you? Do you know that if that man's wife heard this show, she might really feel that she shouldn't have done anything for you? If they, if they probably um, wouldn't have helped me, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have been here. Because that's one of the reasons I'm here, to do a work in the house. So would you have been in a better place? School. Yeah, would you have been in a better place? I don't know, Joyce. But so if, if you are of, here, of school, if, if you're here, school, I wouldn't be here. Be, if you're here, then be grateful. If you're okay. here, be grateful. I to, am grateful. Okay, what, what, I'm, I'm feeling, where, I'm, where I'm feeling pain now is I'm still in the house. Choice. Yeah, you can do I an online. No wait, of wait. They're, they're, I, they're, hold on. They're, they're graduates who are unemployed and they're doing online business. So you can actually find something you can sell online. I don't have access to technology Joyce. Well, you don't know. You it can is, speak to your auntie. Well, speak to your aunties. Find out whether you, both of you can collaborate and do an online business. Make it sound as though it's something she can also make money from while you're sitting at home. Give her a business idea where you know you can sell while you're at home so that she can give, tell her that she has something to benefit. She wants money too, right? So tell her that auntie, while I'm at home, you know we can be selling something. Joyce, you're not, you're not understanding it for my own... This, my auntie... <laughs> She, in fact, she's a, almost a bank manager. So. Her husband is almost a bank manager, too. So, so it's, not, 
where I am here, Joyce. I've begged for money. Yeah, I'm I've saying to try to something. I beg to get a job. They refuse. They yeah, so I'm, to, so, so I'm giving you, you I'm giving you another idea. I'm so saying I should just put my hand and uh, wait until I graduate from school. Even if I graduate from the school, with the certificate, I can't just enter an organization and say I'm getting a work. Girl, how to start over to learn a girl? Joyce, I, I don't know anything. Girl, you don't have another option. That's my point. So what are you going to do? Good. So you make the best of it. Speak to her. Tell her you can sell from home. Have the conversation with her. See how it goes. Don't be so pessimistic you rule everything out. You complain about everything. You want to take revenge against them. Uh, you, they, they took from you. Yeah, you have an expectation, but it's not their duty. And if life brought you here, this is today. Make the best of it. It will change tomorrow. But this, if, if one minute in, in the, your conversation with me, you're grateful. Another minute, you feel like they, they, they are limiting you. You're contradicting yourself. So look, if you're here, so this is your option. You leave their house, they stop paying your school fees, and you go into this world and take a chance. Do you want that? You tell me you want that, I get her number and call her. Tell me you want that's, that, I'll call the family, tell them to send you to the streets. That's probably what I've been, I've been thinking. Good, then tell them that. Tell them that you don't want school anymore. Good, then tell them you don't want school anymore. If I, I didn't say that I don't want school anymore. I always Lord wanted to go to school and I must Stop. school. I must school. Oh, no matter what it is. I'm, look, see, look, honey. Look, I've given you more time than I've given anybody else. And here is something that you're doing. You, you're stubborn, but you're not thinking. And I wish you could use this stubbornness in your pursuit of achievements. You're stubborn. You're not thinking. You, you just have what you want and you think the world owes you. You would be shocked. And first of all, you know, I'm wondering if you got married today. Shit, this is how you're going to be, right? This is you. Where you think the, the man owes you. This is you. You, 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 you. First of all, look, I'm glad you called me. And I want to tell you that it would not be wise for you to quit school. But if you say you have this stubbornness, if you say you're stubborn, quit. Try it. You know what? You might quit and succeed. Would you do that? George, you're getting me wrong. I'm I am getting, getting you wrong. So I'm saying to you, this is your position today. Speak to your madam. Speak to the husband. Say, I can sell from home. Because I agree you need an income. I'm not minimizing that. I know you want an income. You need an income. So find out how you are not leaving home and you can still sell from home. Have the conversation with them. Let them understand your position. And it might just be a better outcome than every other approach you've tried. I'm asking you to try. As again, sit back and hate them. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Joyce.